Bit of a job on my hands today. Another VW T4 auto sleeper job. Replacing the roof vent. As the sun damage is so bad, if you touch it at all, it cracks. I've never done one before. So, no idea how this is gonna go. I'm gonna start by taking off this panel on the inside, because that's directly connected to the vent on the top. So we can't pull anything off from the top until this is off. That's that off. Easy as that. You can see where it screws in directly to the roof vent and pulls up against the roof lining. So I guess we need to go straight up on the roof and see whether it's just put on with adhesive or screws. Looks like this one is just adhesive but it's gone so brittle in the sun it's probably going to break in half when I try to take it off. I'm just going to slide this under the roof rent like that to try and break the seal. It doesn't actually feel like there's a lot on there. God, that just fell off. That is unbelievable. How the hell that was not letting any water in, I do not know. But the roof is dry. It literally just fell off in my hands as I took it off though. So now we've just got to clean clean all this old sealant off and then give it a bit of a rub with some emery or something similar to give the new adhesive something to stick to and then we can offer up the new one and see if it actually fits the hole. You can see on the top where I've had to do temporary repairs before, where it had cracked, because this is how brittle it had gone. Just going to grab a hoover so I can suck up the smaller parts on the roof before we try and offer up the new one. Just going to give us a clean up now where the new one is going to be sealed against the roof. I've gone for this bog standard Fiamma roof vent in white. Don't ask me why I went for white and not clear. Don't really know. Because I've heard they're pretty durable and they're not a bad price. Now has come the time to try and put it in. Let's see if it fits first. Uh. Well, it fits. The hole in the roof is slightly bigger than the vent, but I think we're gonna be all right. I'm just gonna mark this up so it's dead center. And then we can drill a couple of pilot holes in these screw holes. Just one in two opposite corners, I think. So we can just hold it in place when I've got the sealant in there before I put the rest of the screws in. 
I've gone for this Sikaflex 522 to fix the vent on the roof with, just because I never heard a bad word. So, gone for that. About 15 quid a tube, specifically designed for motorhomes and caravans. It's now time to start putting the sealant around the outside or the underside, should I say, of the vent. Just gonna flip it over now, now we've got all the sealant around the outside and get a screw in each corner before we do the rest of the screws to keep it square. Those two screws will keep it square now while I do the pilot holes for the rest of the screws. Stainless steel screws, by the way, so we don't get any corrosion. Now, just tighten the rest of the screws up to pull the sealant against the roof, and we should be good. Back on the inside now, we just need to fit this uh, fly screen, which also has the knob to raise and lower the vent. Only four screws for this, so it should be nice, nice and easy. Extra, extra long screws, let's give that a go. All nice and tight. Right, now, let's just see if the vent opens. Sure does. Right. So now we'll just have to leave it alone to sit and all that sealant to cure. And hopefully it doesn't rain before it does. So that is how you change a roof vent.